It says archives, standard anniversary, and summer games will not happen. So that's three big events where nothing's going to happen. Where are all the skins going to go? If they're working on all these crazy fucking skins, like this massive amount more than they've ever done before, and there's three events that aren't going to happen, and one light event, where are they going? I present to you Anniversary Remix Volume 1. This is a track list of what gets dropped. Expands to a three-part event, so this is part one. All game modes are unlocked. Remakes, legendary skins. I see why am I? I don't remember. I don't know what that stands for. Weekly challenge skins. I'm sure that's like weekly challenge skins that you might have missed. You can get them back. Play volume one on April 5th. Before we go anywhere, I want you to realize this is volume one. I already have a theory. I'm already nine steps ahead. I'll do my theory at the end. Fuck it. it makes you stay longer. So on Play Overwatch, there's a, there's a article. Get more details about Overwatch Anniversary Remix. Community update, 2022 in-game details retail. Hiya, folks. With today's tease of the Overwatch Anniversary Remix 1 event, we wanted to talk about what you can expect from the Remix events and what it means for popular in-game events such as Archives, Summer Games, and Anniversary in the lead-up to Overwatch 2. Like standard Anniversary events, Remix events will throw up the op the vault, sorry, throw open the vault doors, allowing you to unlock every skin normally available during these events, plus all new remixed legendary skins. These offer a spin on our greatest hits with new looks for some of our most popular skins ever released, and you look at look forward to six of them per remix event. For our for each anniversary remix, three popular mini events sorry, mini event skins will make a limited time return and can be obtained by completing their specific challenges. Each challenge will only last a week. So if you missed your chance the first time around, now will be the best chance for these limited edition event skins. Just like the, the standard anniversary events, we've been enabling brawls on our rotation schedule over the next three weeks. What does that mean? Enabling brawls on a rotation schedule over the next three weeks. What does that mean, chat? Fan favorites like Archive Missions, Lucio Ball, and May's Snowball Challenge will be making a return. Oh, so it's the game modes. This does mean that events like Archives, Standard Anniversary, and the Summer Games will not make a return this year. Instead, Anniversary Remix events will be introducing a new set of variants in place of the normal event schedule, all of it which will transfer to Overwatch 2, along with all previously earned skins, sprays, and player icons. This three-part anniversary event enables our team to allocate more time and attention to the upcoming PvP beta, while simultaneously providing the community with a chance to earn unique variants of your favorite legendary skins. We will be sharing more information in the months ahead about future anniversary remix up events, as well as continuing commitment to the regular updates on the development of Overwatch 2. There is a few things we gotta talk about immediately. Number one, do you notice something in the title? Community Update 2022, in-game events, retail. Now, I have a, may have a small business degree. Um, I may have went to business school for five years and I know a thing or two about a thing or two. Um, the word retail, isn't that typically referred to something that you purchase? Why? Are we specifying Overwatch as a purchase? Could it be that this is the purchased version? Next up, Overwatch's anniversary remix event begins April 5th. This is the new Mercy skin uh, from the event. This is one of the Mercy skins. Yeah, just take a second chat, breathe it in. You know, probably depending on who you are, don't go near Twitter. Maybe go near Twitter if that's like your thing. I don't know. Overwatch normally celebrates its birthday throughout the month of May giving players a chance to earn skins and cosmetics they've missed over the years. For the game's sixth anniversary, and the last hurrah before Overwatch 2 takes over things will look a little different. From April 5th to 25th, that's a very important date right there, players can bulk up their cosmetic closet with the Overwatch Anniversary Remix Volume 1 event. The celebration includes six remixed legendary skins, as well as the return of three weekly challenges featuring some of the game's most popular skins like Bassadonna. Though it's been dis discussed in the past, the developers explicitly confirmed in this event that all skins, sprays, and player icons will transfer to Overwatch 2 
which launches a closed beta on April 26th. For cosmetic collectors, this event offers an unprecedented chance to stock up on rare skins before the next era of Overwatch. The Overwatch Anniversary Remix event features six new legendary skins, which are re recolored versions of some of the game's most used skins. Here's a list of the revamped skins players can unlock with the new skin's original inspiration. Mage Mercy, so this is the first one. This is what Mage Mercy looks like. Oh, full screen it, nice. Mage Mercy. Next, I don't remember, but we're just gonna keep it going. Reaper, is this the Rhine one? Yep, I've never seen this skin before. So this is just recolored Blackheart, I think. I think this is just recolored Blackheart. And then Cat Ears Diva. Black Cat Diva and Cultist Zenyatta. Oh, I missed the last one. Sorry, Cultist Zenyatta. Through the event, three previous weekly challenges will return, giving players a chance to unlock popular skins that they may have missed the first time around. This will include Bassadon, Combat Bet Medic Baptiste, and Nano Diva. Diva's iconic green toned skin will be the first up of the challenges April, available from April 5th to 11th. As with all Overwatch Anniversary events, all previous seasonal cosmetics will be available to unlock either with gold or through anniversary loot boxes during this remix event. Nearly every skin in the game will be up for grabs, so spend that gold wisely. I got like a hundred, I got like 150k. Oh, dude, I, I'm, I'm gonna fucking wipe the whole thing. <laughs> Just clean house, you know? Seasonal, seasonal brawls will also make a return with the anniversary remix event each day. Well, a new seasonal brawl will be available in the arcade mode. Get your Junkin' Signs Revenge team together one last time on April 6th for the Halloween Terror, which will be featured, or practice your PvE skills for the Overwatch Archives event it comes back on April 10th. This is the first of three planned remix events that will take place during 2022. Each event will include new versions of popular skins, as well as the return of weekly challenges for those hard to acquire cosmetics. A lot of good, a lot of good news. I want you to go back though, and remember this date. April 5th to 25th. Do you know what this is? This is up until the day before the beta. I now have a theory. This is the first of three events. We have in-game event, beta, okay, beta. Beta ends, event number two. Event number two ends, beta number two begins. Beta number two finishes, Event number three starts. Event number three finishes. Overwatch 2 releases. I think it's a solid theory. Or I would start beta number three and that would roll into Overwatch 2. Regardless though, can I get the old Overwatch League skins? I don't know, we'll all see on the 5th. Um, April 5th is the day of the event. It starts. There's three, there's gonna be three editions of this. Uh, all the game modes apparently are gonna be playable and it's gonna run up to the day before the beta. So. This is definitely like a hold us over event for a Watch 2 beta, which is nice, which is very nice. That theory would it also match the prime loot boxes, which ends in August. Oh yeah, so yeah, let me show you that. He's actually, let me, let me complete my theory. I forgot. That would line up with this theory. That theory would line up. So if we went Overwatch event, beta, Overwatch event, beta, Overwatch event, Overwatch 2 releases. If you think about the timeline, so the beta is at the end of April. Let's say the beta runs for like, three weeks or a month. Let's say like, let's say two weeks to a month, right? So end of April to end of like, end of-ish May, right? So there's two events, so there's two loot boxes in May, which is interesting. That's actually very interesting now that I think about it. Um, hmm. I wonder. I wonder if there's gonna be like one Overwatch 2 loot box and one Overwatch 1 loot box in here? I wonder. Um. Let's say end of May though. And then we have a new event. Then another beta. Then a new event. And then boom, this would be September. So if we follow the timeline, end of end of April, let's say it goes through most of May, ends. Event starts, goes most of June, ends. Beta starts, goes through most, if not all of July, ends. Event starts, event number three starts, goes through most of August, ends overwatch 2 releases is it hopium is it copium or are we t connecting those motherfucking dots i don't know i have no idea